Hello, I'm Richard Jacob from Matrix Science, and today we're going to be looking at setting up a Uniprot database using a template. Um, in this case, we're going to look at Uniprot Wheat database, and then we're going to um, automatically schedule updates for that database. What I'm looking at right now is a search results for a phosphoproteome data set from Wheat, and um, I've searched Swissprop. Uh, with a taxonomy filter of green plants and uh, because there may be some contamination in the sample um, I've included the contaminants database as well um, just to pick up human keratin or anything like that. The search is completed and I've got some results here. Um, what you can see is I've got some protein entries that uh, don't have sequences from the wheat genome or wheat proteome and I've also got some entries here where I've got the same protein from multiple different species. And to clear up the protein inference, uh, what I want to do is be able to search a uh, proteome which just has the wheat proteins in. It will make it a lot clearer um, when we review the results. So how to go about that? What we can do um, is first look at the help and the process is well documented there. So we go to database search help, sequence database setup, and uniprot proteomes. If we scroll down, um, this is the information that we need to know. We need to find out the taxonomy ID for the protein. Um, we can either download the database manually or with mascot server 2.4 and 2.5, we can set up a URL and have the server pull the FASTA file from Uniprot website. And uh, we're gonna use this Uniprot template. And this means that all the pass rules and other information is pre-configured. Um, here's a URL that we can use um, with mascot server to grab that database. So like I said, the first thing we need to do is find out the taxonomy for wheat. And the way to do that is to go to the Uniprot website and we can set up here um, to search um, the taxonomy settings. And we search for wheat. And it lists not just because we, we gave it the uh, English name wheat, um, it's pulled up the Latin name and we've got some other similar species. For some species, uh, there'll be multiple genomes of different individuals that have been sequenced and we might find uh, different entries on those for the different strains and so on. This is the, the species we're interested in here. And when we go through, we get the taxon identifier. So I'm gonna take that taxon ID, open up a text editor. Now we're gonna go back to the web browser This is the complete URL that we want. And I'm gonna put that taxon ID in there. Now, um, we have a couple of other options in that URL. So one here is the format, that's quite obvious, it's fast day. And the second is the keyword complete proteome. Uniprot contains not just the sequence information from one read of a genome, but maybe multiple reads of the genome for the same species. Um, but when we look at the complete proteome, it has a certain keyword meaning. And we can look up those keywords. And when we look this up, uh, we can see that a complete proteome consists of both the reviewed and the unreviewed sequences. So the entries that are in the Swissprot database and also the entries which are in the Tremble database uh, combined. Um, there's also reference proteomes. Um, reference proteomes are, if you like, a, a subset of that uh, complete proteome. And it's really just referring to um, a proteome that the Uniprot uh, annotators have put together as a, a best illustrative proteome for that species.
And they've gone through and they've used uh, various algorithmic uh, and manual methods to do this for a number of proteomes across the tree of life. So going back, so we have complete proteome. This will take um, all the sequences from both Swissprot and Tremble. Um, force is just to download the file. And we have an include yes. So what does that mean? Um, again, we can go back to the Uniprot site. In this case, I'm looking at the programmatic access uh, parameters. And include is defined here. And what it means is that it includes the isoform sequences uh, when the format parameter is set to fast A. So we've assembled the URL. I'm going to copy that to the clipboard. Uh, now we actually have to set up the uh, database. So we go back to the welcome page, configuration editor, database manager, and we want to create a new database. We're going to give them database a name. Uniprop wheat in this case, and uh, it's going to be using the definition template of a Uniprop proteome template. Well, we'll say next. So now we're going to create the database, and it asks us for a URL to download the FASTA file. So we set up the download URL. We enter in our URL of the correct taxon ID and save. Click on start downloading. Mascot will put that download task into the queue. And after 15 seconds or so, it will start downloading. And depending on the speed of your internet connection, the database will be downloaded uh, within a few minutes. The uh, download is started and jumping ahead and the download is complete. So as we use the template, all of the other configuration settings are predefined. And all we need to do at this point is activate the database. The database is now in use. And uh, I mentioned right at the beginning that we can schedule an update for this database. So we can edit a schedule. Most databases like Swissprop, Uniref 100 are updated on a monthly basis. Some databases like NCBINR are updated daily, although I would never recommend actually scheduling an update to download the newest version each day. For this database, we're gonna follow the sort of standard Swissprop type um, updating scheme and, and update the database monthly. Um, we're going to update it on the 5th of the month at 5 a.m. in the morning, which is pretty quiet. Um, we'll just go for 5 past. So save that schedule. So now uh, Mascot will automatically look for and update that database if there's any changes on the 5th. If we go back to the database settings here. Now we can see the Uniprop wheat database listed. And we can also manually update the database at any time just by clicking the update button. Okay, so we've completed the download of that database and brought it online. So it's in use and we've set up a scheduling. Now let's go back to our data set and uh, research that data against the Uniprop wheat. We don't need a taxonomy filter anymore because we're going to be searching the whole of the Uniprop wheat database. And we're going to include our contaminants database. And let's do the search. And I will come back to this search when it's completed. All right, the search has completed. 
and we're now looking at the results and all of the species here are going to be from wheat um, and we've actually got a lot more proteins here so if we Here are the two search results side by side. And uh, we can see there's a lot more proteins in the search against the Uniprop wheat. And that's because it does contain the unreviewed sequences. Uh, we can expand the decoy sections and we can see there's a lot more peptides matched. So um, those unreviewed sequences and the isoforms have improved our results considerably. Okay, so I hope I have shown how easy it is to set up a Uniprop Proteome database using the Uniprop template. Um, in this example with Wheat, and also how easy it is to schedule an automatic database update. As always, if you have any questions, please email support at matrixscience.com. Thank you.